All right, let's head down into the underground lair gym space. So I did a video a few months ago before we put this wall up right here. So we did this gray, uh, kind of finish off the space a little bit when you come down. So the door, on the other side of the door is just storage and mechanical kind of thing. Up on the wall here, there's gonna be some shelving here. And then um, right below it is gonna be a bench. So all that stuff my husband is making. So hopefully in the next video, it'll be done, which would be cool. Um, over here, just rogue hanger where I use it to hold uh, weightlifting belts. And then people, when they come down, just you know put their jacket there, hoodie, whatever. Uh, over here, oh, weightlifting shoes. These are just some Adidas weightlifting shoes. Dog bed, because we have three dogs and there's usually one of them hanging out down here during workouts. I'm just gonna do a quick overview right now of the space so you can see what we're working with. And then I'm gonna loop back and kind of go into a little more detail of everything. I will try not to make this too long-winded <laughs> because I know how it can be with gym tours. You get so excited because everything is really fun, but I'll try to make it abbreviated. And then if you have any questions, just let me know and um, I will definitely answer them for you. So I'm just gonna kind of walk around here so you can kind of see what we're working with since the last video, this is also a new wall that was finished off. The only thing that's behind this wall is just mechanical and storage, but it's kind of nice to have it, you know, separate from the gym space. Uh, over here, straight ahead, eventually there's gonna be a bathroom there, but obviously it's unfinished right now. And then um, the other side of the stairs there, and we built sort of that accent wall over there. On the other side of it is just the receiver and stuff like that for uh, t the TV and music and everything. We just have like a Roku set up down here, which is works great. It's, it's like an older Roku, but works awesome. So this was an accent wall that my husband did too, which came out really, really nice. Kind of adds a little bit of something to the space. So let's start over here. This is the amenity station is what I call it. So if you need a water, hand sanitizer, cleaning wipes, Kleenex, which are always popular, some sweat towels, yoga blocks, a garbage not real exciting but stuff that's needed um so we'll start here with the rogue um fold out wall mount um this is probably my favorite part of the entire gym i guess you could say it's the centerpiece uh so fitness you can live with that's my personal training business where i do most of my business obviously right down here um the the stringers when we order them they're black you can order them colored we actually painted these blue so if you look on the Rogue website, this blue is not gonna be there. Um, but they do have a similar blue, which is really nice. Uh, let's see, the barbell that's on here right now is from the XFIT training company. This is their bearing elite bar. So it's um, 44 pound bar, very nice bar. I like it a lot. Just some Rogue um, Echo bumper plates on there with some Titan, um, Titan weights. The Rogue HG collars, I actually got these used recently on Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes you can get some good deals on there. Um, they're really gently used, which was nice. I recently got, since the last video, the Rogue landmine attachment down there, which is awesome. Obviously, really versatile landmine work is a lot of fun. A uh, couple of the barbells that are hanging up here, they're just, they're kind of no brand basic bars, but real solid and great for, you know, landmine work or whatever. Uh, in the corner, sorry, it's a little bit dark, but we got a couple attachment. It's a Titan rowing attachment there. And then you can kind of see it leaning against the wall. It's a Titan Viking press and then another attachment for rows. So I, I, those are all I'm pretty sure from Titan. Um, and then on the floor, I know that this is from Titan. It's, it's another landmine unit. This one can move around, which is great. You can put it wherever you want. I take it outside a lot in the summer. And then it's got that attachment on the end there where you could put like a rope around it and do like battle rope exercises. So I've got a rope in here and then I've got another one for outdoor use too, which is great. Um, on the wall here is just bands, just assort, assorted bands. The bands with the handles and then other bands that don't have the handles. So great for all kinds of pulling, pushing, mobility warm-ups, all kinds of stuff we use those for. This bench is a flat bench from uh, the Strength Shop. So you can kind of see the logo there. This was the first flat bench that I ever bought that um, I thought was, you know, 
I thought it was a really solid bench, and it is, it is, until I bought the Rep Fitness bench, but <laughs> no, it is, it's a great bench. These um, parallettes, I think, are from Titan Fitness, so those are real versatile, use them for a lot of things. A couple of Rogue um, plyo boxes, a couple of homemade plyo boxes that my husband made. Big shout out to my husband. He does so much cool stuff for me. He does, you'll see, a lot of DIY things, which is great. This is just a smaller Titan Fitness, like a, one of those like softer foam plyo boxes. On the floor is a Easy Curl Bar. I think it's from Titan Fitness. Um, so that's solid. I like that a lot. No issues with that at all. Up on the wall is just a uh, black dry erase board. So we put different workouts on there and stuff like that. Um, the rack here is the, it's the Rogue SML1, I believe. Um, so it's 70 inches high, which makes it great for, you know, basement height basically. And, you know, if you were in like an apartment or something like that, it would probably work great. So this was the first rack that I ever bought from Rogue. And actually I'm selling it in the next few days because I just ordered the Rogue uh, SML2C in blue so i'll be doing an updated video on that when it comes in in a few days but i hate to let this guy go because it's it's awesome and it was my first rack but i really don't have the space for it i wish i did i really i would keep it if i did it's very very solid the barbell on here is the uh cerakote bella bar that i recently got here she is so i got it in the blue cerakote um was out actually able to nab one when they were in stock. So yeah, that's that's really, really, really nice. I like it a lot. Um, the bumpers that are on here are from the XFit training company. I have a couple of these and I've had them for, I don't know, five or six years and they're great. It's the same company that made the barbell that's down there. So check them out, they're good. They got a lot of good stuff on their site. Um, the collars on here are these kind from Rogue, really nice. Those are, those are not gonna go anywhere. The bench is the flat bench uh, 5000 from Rep, which I got a few months ago, which was in the last video. And this thing is very solid. It's not the wide pad, but um, I kinda wanna get another one. I'd like to have two, two of these, and then I'd like to have two of these just because I do mostly personal training down here and sometimes I have a you know a group of like four people working out so this is also from rep it's the adjustable bench 3000 this is my newest bench was able to grab one of these when it briefly came in stock so if you're looking for fitness equipment I know you kind of got to be diligent now and just keep on top of it and It'll eventually come in stock, whatever you're looking for. Just stay patient. <laughs> um, over in this corner here, just a couple of little things. Just the mini uh, deadlift jack from Rogue, a sandbag, a couple of agility ladders. Mostly use those outside in the summertime. Well, let's see here. So I'm going to kind of back up. There's two dumbbell racks. The one on the left is from Titan Fitness. And I just ordered another one of those from Titan Fitness, the mass storage unit, um, to hold the plates. So it's supposed to come sometime in April, so it's probably going to go down at that end, and it's going to have plates on it. And then this one is going to stay with the dumbbells and have a top flat shelf to hold kettlebells, which will be great. Um, the one to the right of it is from Rogue. I don't remember the name of this rack. Um, they might not even make it anymore. It's several years old, but very solid, obviously. Um, if they still make it, I'd like to get a bottom shelf to get those dumbbells off the ground because that really irritates me. So the rubber hex dumbbells are from Rogue. It's the fives through the fifties. And then I've got some other like 55s and all, you know, all the way down that are just, you know, kind of assorted through the years from different companies. But I like to have two sets of most of the common ones because I do personal training down here. And it's nice to have those couple dead balls on the top, 25, 35 and 50. And then a couple of those, I guess you call them uh, like for like wall balls and stuff like that. So just a different version of a medicine ball. On the ground, until they can get a shelf to live on, is um, the Rogue, um, the, let me just grab one because the lighting is horrible. Let's get over here and you can see what we're working with. So, looks like this. 
So I have the, um, I'll say the weight on the back. This one's the 35. So I've got a set of the 26 pounders, a set of the 35s, and then a set of the 44s. So these are really cool. They're the uh, powder coat ones that are actually cast in Cadillac, Michigan. So I'm in Michigan and they're cast about ooh, two hours away, which is, I think that's pretty neat. So in the corner here, we've got PVC pipes, great for mobility. And then we have a couple of lighter weight uh, dead balls on the ground. On the floor here is a hex bar. I believe this is from Titan Fitness 2. I could be wrong on that. It's a couple years old. I'd have to look and see. Um, very solid bar. No issues with that ever. I guess you could call this the cardio station. Um, we got the ski erg from Concept 2 and then the uh, rowing machine from Concept 2. So I actually got the ski erg used over the summer local, which was a great find. And then I bought this one new probably eight or nine years ago. So those are just as good as the day that they were made, I'm sure. They're gonna last you forever. Liebert equalizers over here, so great for dips. You can flip them over and do push-ups. There's actually a ton of things that you can do with these. So I'll take them outside in the summer a lot too. Um, this is over here in this corner. So you'll see on the floor, I'm gonna just pan up and over. This is a DIY pulley system that my husband made for me. So a very cheap Home Depot project that turns out to be a ton of fun. So I just have a couple of attachments, one's on there right now. And then sadly, these attachments are on the floor because someday I will get a wall control unit, but right now it's just not a huge priority. Another DIY thing, two things I'll show you. On the poles here, we've got these little hooks that wrap around and with the carabiner, you can just clip in some bands to do band work and then that actually can slide up and down so you can do things from you know mid height low height whatever and then I've got another one down there and then while we're over here another DIY thing is this pull-up bar that my husband also made so yeah I think DIY stuff is really fun it's really cool to support the companies obviously but sometimes you don't have a space for like a big pulley system or whatever so if you can do some DIY things cool um, I think that's about it. We'll just take a mini walk through here, get the TV up, that's exciting, always. So I can stay up to date on all the latest YouTube. <laughs> all right, so yeah, being that it is a basement, we actually do get some decent light down here from these windows. Um, so you don't feel like you're in a complete dungeon. All right, that's it. Thanks for checking it out. I will update back soon when we have this done and the new rack.